Hello Planet Internet, I am Emperor Cole, this is Emperor Cole Film Review, brought to you by MindbenderENT.com, and today I'm here to review Deadpool, the first of seven superhero movies that we're getting this year. Let's do it! Hey yeah, I wanna shoot, baby, shoot! Alright, so let's jump right into it. Deadpool is finally here. Deadpool is the first superhero movie that is rated R. Ryan Reynolds had to push to get this movie made for about six to eight years from what I was hearing. Now, Fox finally agreed to make the movie. They actually let him make the film that he wanted to make, him along with Tim Miller, who's the director. They actually, they decided to make the budget only $58 million. That $58 million compared to what's been sent, spent on other movies is actually very, very small. It's minuscule compared to certain other films that have had 120, 150 million dollar budgets that have come from the same studio. Some films have had 100 million dollar budgets that came from Fox that completely tanked. See Fantastic Four. Okay, so the comedy and the acting of Ryan Reynolds matches Deadpool dead on. This guy seems like he was born to play this role. Ryan Reynolds is so good, so, so accurate in his mannerisms and his portrayal as Deadpool. This is going to be a career-defining character for him. Obviously, his, his career is going to heat up even more. He's going to be super A-list, super hot actor going from this point going forward. He's going to start to pop up in a lot more films. I haven't seen a casting this good since maybe Robert Downey Jr. scoring, starring as Tony Stark. It matches like that. Like the character look, the character portrayal, his mannerisms. This is who Deadpool is supposed to be. If you're familiar with the comic book that was created by Rob Liefeld back in, I believe, 1992 or 93, this is about as accurate as it gets as Deadpool. Liefeld obviously saw the film himself. I saw an interview with him online and he said Ryan Reynolds was born to play this role. So Ryan Reynolds did an excellent job in acting as Deadpool, excellent job with the comedy, with the one-liners. His humor is very crude and very funny. It matches who this character is supposed to be. Now, speaking of the comedy and the humor in Deadpool, keep in mind Deadpool is rated R and it's rated R for a reason. It is what people call a hard R. There are a lot of sex jokes. There are, there's a lot of crude, inducing humor, which is very, very funny in this movie. So this is not intended for kids at all. Parents, beware if you want to bring your children to see this movie, because by the time they leave, they may be breaking the fourth wall and addressing the audience about what's going on. Deadpool is the only character in the comic books, and I guess now in the movies, that actually breaks the fourth wall. What do you mean, breaking the fourth wall? I'm glad you asked. I'll tell you. He is the only character who speaks directly to the audience while the movie is going on or while the comic book is going on. He usually says something very funny. It's a hilarious one-liner. He narrates the action as he's fighting with the bad guys. It's hilarious. The only character who does it, he does it very well in the movie. And it's really, really funny when he does so. Think uh, kind of like Ferris Bueller in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. How he turns and speaks to the camera. Deadpool does a lot of that. Given that this movie only has a $58 million budget, they did a great job with the visual effects and the cinematography, in my opinion. You can't tell the difference between this movie and a movie where they spent $150 million to $200 million making the film. The director, Tim Miller, made great use of the freeze time slash bullet time effect where there's an action shot or some, type of, some sequence of action that's going on. Everything freezes and then the camera kind of moves around the action while everything is stuck. It's a great effect that I enjoy and this effect was used very well in the film. The use of green screen in this movie. There are certain parts where it's very obvious that the green screen is being used and some of the effects are completely computer generated, but they look great. Everything matches, the lighting is well, it doesn't look fake. So even though you can tell it's green screen, it doesn't look fake if you can understand that. So the storyline for Deadpool is also something that I enjoyed a lot. What do I mean? Glad you asked, I'll tell you. The character Deadpool is a mercenary. By mercenary, I mean he gets paid money to kill people. This is what he does. So in the film, they stay true to that story, to him, the character, so they don't have him being a goody-goody superhero who's out trying to save the day. The film, the story is actually him on a mission for revenge. It's not him trying to save the world. It's not him trying to save planet Earth from an invasion of aliens. It's a very personal story. It's personal to the character, Wade Wilson, that's Deadpool's real name. And that's what the story follows. 
This was brilliant on Fox to have Colossus and Teenage Negative Sided Warhead in this film. Why you said it? I'm glad you asked, I'll tell you. Because now they're letting the general audience know that, hey, Deadpool is part of the overall X-Men universe. What does that mean? Uh, with there being rumors that Hugh Jackman may be getting ready to retire and only do one more film starring as Wolverine, they're going to need someone else to be that flagship actor, that flagship character that they can rally around and build movies around to be the star of. So, if Deadpool does well, it's looking like Ryan Reynolds starring as Deadpool is going to be that guy. So, it's time for me to give Deadpool a score on the Mindbender movie meter, and I'm going to have to go with an 88%. Deadpool, 88%, as you can see, right here. I was thoroughly entertained by this movie. It's very funny. It's got a lot of jokes. It's got a lot of action in it. It's got action and humor blended very well. I enjoyed it a lot. This is one of the better superhero films to come out in about the last three or four years, and we've had some really good ones come out. So Deadpool, 88%. On the Mind Bender Movie Meter score. This has been Emperor Cole Film Review for Deadpool. Make sure you check us out at MindBenderENT.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Facebook.com forward slash Mindbender Entertainment. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click the button down below. You follow us on Twitter, Twitter.com forward slash MindBenderENT. If you have any movies you'd like me to check out and do a review on, make sure you send an email here, MindBender.Entertainment at gmail.com. And remember, the future is now.